Hi guys, it's Regan and this video I'm actually going to be launching a new video series I'm going to be doing entitled Reagan recommends. Don't you like that alliteration, everyone? But essentially, it's going to be me recommending five books at a time from a variety of different genres. And obviously, I've decided to start with my favorite genre, fantasy. And like I said, I'm only going to do five, but I have a lot more than five fantasy books to recommend to you, so that means there's going to be a lot of videos in this series. It, so that means in the future you will probably see another Reagan Recommends Fantasy with five other fantasy books to read. I just didn't want it to be like a trillion years long, just a quick reference video for you to see and there'll be more than one. So anyway, let's stop rambling and get started. The very first book I want to recommend is a book I feel like I haven't talked about a lot on this channel. I feel like I talked about it a lot on my old channel but I just need to talk about it again, and that is The Demon King, which is the first book of the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. I love this. I love this young adult high fantasy series. It is amazing. It follows two perspectives, Reza Ana Maria and Han Alistair. Han Alistair, in the first book, is a newly retired thief lord, and he, in the very beginning of the book, stops three young wizards from burning down a sacred forest, and in doing so, he uncovers an amulet that once belonged to the Demon King, and that sets him on a journey that changes his life, obviously, a lot. And it also follows Reza Ana Maria, who is the princess of the realm, who and who is next in line to take over the throne in the queendom. Gotta love a queendom, that's all I have to say, and they're my favorite. Um, and Reza has just returned back to court and is dealing with suitors and she's trying to make sure that her, um, that her kingdom stays a queendom and not becomes a kingdom because she doesn't want that to happen. This book series is awesome. It takes these two characters that live completely different lives and eventually they cross paths and their destiny unfolds in this four book series and it is really really awesome. The next book I want to recommend to you guys is Eon by Alison Goodman. This follows a 12 year old um, dragon eye apprentice and he has been training for all of his life to become a dragon eye uh, an apprentice, one of the uh, zodiac dragons. Um, he has been poor his whole life and this would really allow him to move up in the world, but he has a secret. He's actually a 16 year old girl and she's pretending to be a boy. This is a huge deal. The thing with this fantasy book that I really appreciate and love, besides it having a really rich fantasy story, it has a lot of accurate historical elements. You can tell that Alison Goodman did a hell of a lot of research in this book. Um, just the Asian culture really shines through and it's super duper interesting. This book series is a duology, there's two books in it, I read them both back to back. They're very engrossing and honestly I couldn't, I couldn't wait to read more. Number three is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This first, I need to clarify, is a fantasy novel, not historical fiction, and it is not set in Russia. It has some Russian historical references, like Iona has historical Chinese references, but it's not set in Russia. Um, this follows a character, Elena, and there in the world that she lives in, there's something called the Shadow Fold, which basically just sort of appeared in the middle of their land, which has stopped trade and has basically messed up their economy and there's things in the shadow fold that kill you. It's not a good place to go. And in this world as well, there's people called Grisha who um, have abilities. And Alina, our main character, has a very, very rare ability, um, the ability to manifest and control light, which is really helpful when wanting to dispel the shadow fold because light sort of trumps shadows. Um, so yes, Alina in this book goes on a whirlwind of adventure. It's really good. The third one is coming out in June, and I honestly can tell you I have no idea how it's going to end, which is really nice. Not predictable at all. The fourth book I'm going to re recommend is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. This wouldn't be a list without Brandon Sanderson, let's be honest. And I didn't want to do Mistborn because I've talked a lot about Mistborn, so I decided to talk about this one. This one is a really interesting middle grade young adult hybrid and follows a main character named Joel. Joel lives in a world, lives in a sort of dystopian or just new world uh, United States where the United States is now a whole bunch of islands, which is so cool. And in this world there's things called chocklings, which are literally chalk monsters that eat people. So to combat these chalk monsters there are people called arithmetists who use chalk and use chocklings to fight back against other chocklings. 
And so Joel goes to a school where arithmetists train, and he his whole life has wanted to be a arithmetist, but he's not one. But when murders and kidnappings start happening at his school, he is recruited to help solve these murders. I really loved this book. I thought it was super fun. And the cool thing about it is all these chalk drawings and diagrams are all drawn in the book. It is amazing. I thought it was a really fun series and it's the first of a series and I can't wait to continue to read it. Um, yeah, I just thought it's very creative. And the last book I have to rec recommend to you guys is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Two reasons why. Um, one, I don't think I would have recommended this book if I hadn't just read the second book and loved it. It was amazing. And two, I decided to recommend this because I think this would be a really easy book for people who haven't read fantasy before to start reading fantasy because it's an urban fantasy, partially. Meaning a lot of it is set in our world, not some alternate or made up universe. It's set in Prague, which exists. <laughs> and this story follows a character named Karu and she is an art student in Prague. And she also has a side job though. She works for a character named Brimstone and she collects teeth for him. And then one day she stumbles upon this person burning a, um, putting a burned hand mark on Brimstone's door and their paths intertwine and everything changes. I'm leaving this synopsis to be very obscure and brief because I personally think it's better to go into the series not knowing much, but I will say just so you know that I this story is beautifully written, very easy to read. People say it's confusing, but I don't think it's um I don't find the fact that it's confusing to be something that's to be a detriment. In fact, I think it's interesting as you find out things about you find things out as Karu, our main character, finds things out, so I think that makes sense. And I will say the second the series only gets better because the second book like blew me away. It was beautiful. So there you go, guys. Those are five fantasy recommendations, the first of many videos like this to come along with my, you know, they're not gonna be every day, but there's gonna be a thing where every once in a while how Reagan recommends what they, uh, with the genre, you know, and fantasy is definitely gonna reappear. So anyway, let me know if you like this video by commenting or liking, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!